Hi, I'm Laura from Ontario Business Central and this is Taking the Leap. Today I'm here with Jake from Consultus Digital and we're talking about what it was like for him to start a business. Jake, tell me about your business. Consultus Digital, we're a digital marketing and sales enablement agency based in Toronto and we work with different businesses to help them grow their online lead generation and increase revenue. So what made you decide to take the leap? I think like a lot of entrepreneurs, you can see that you can do things a lot better. At least for myself anyways, I was working for a company and I knew that the way that things were running, we could do things a lot better. So after years and years of, you know, kind of dragging my feet, I thought, you know what? It's time to start my own business. Tell me about the last day that you were employed by somebody else. What was that like? You know, I, I think I built it up in my head my last day was going to be this big monumental day, explosions going off, but it wasn't. It was like this relief. It's like this weight I kind of had on my shoulders was just gone. I feel like a lot of the buildup that you have when you're thinking whether or not you should start a business, that's like the most stressful part. You yes. know, you're, you're, what can go wrong? Do I have enough money? All these different things you're playing, all these different scenarios you're playing out in your head. And then when you actually leave, and you quit your job, you're just like, oh, that wasn't as big of a deal as I made it out to be. How long have you had your business now? So we're about a year and a half in. So what's been the most exciting part of this venture for you? I think the most exciting part is just seeing everything come together, knowing that it's, it's your own and yes. making it the way that you've envisioned. When you start the business and you're growing it over time, you have different challenges that come up. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing that you found? I would say the hardest thing that I've found about being an entrepreneur is that your mind is always thinking about it. When I was an employee, you know, you go home from work and you, you take a step back and you don't care anymore. You'll work hard, but not nearly as hard as you work when you know that, you know, the buck stops with you. Yes. Your people are reliant on you. But you're learning as you go. I am. When you're starting your business, I, I'm sure I'm not, different than most entrepreneurs and that you're probably really good at a, a few different things. I was really good at sales, really good at marketing. There's so many other things that comes to be an entrepreneur, leadership, uh, accounting, operations. So you start to learn about all these different things. You have to educate yourself, read different books on, you know, how to scale the business quickly and, and make sure everyone's happy. And yeah, so constantly learning. Do you have any mentors? Like, did you, connect with any associations or business leaders that you you go out into the world and you yeah. sit with others who have different experiences but maybe can give you breadcrumbs about mm. you moving forward? There's certainly people in my life that I do rely on mm -hmm. um, for mentorship. And I remember even before I started, I would go out and meet a few people that had already done what I wanted to do. And I'd go out for lunch with them. I'd say, hey, you know, I've got a couple questions. This is what I'm looking at doing. You've already done this. Um, can I take you out for lunch? Then you, you know, hit them with questions. What was your biggest achievement so far <laughs> in having a business? I think just the, the, the quality of uh, service that we're providing our clients, the performance that we're providing our clients, and creating an environment where people want to work. So I would say that would be what I'm the most proudest of so far. So what advice would you give to somebody who's sitting at home debating about whether they're going to do something on their own? They have a dream, but they're afraid to pursue it. Yeah, I would say if anyone's thinking about maybe taking the leap into entrepreneurship, take a look at what the worst case scenario is. It's not doomsday. You can do it. I think it's probably better to look at what happens if you don't do that. If it doesn't work, you can always go back. You can always <laughs> you go can, back. You can always go back. So take that leap. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share, or go to our website. We're here to help entrepreneurs at ontariobusinesscentral.ca.